thank you, Joe, and uh, thank you, Kevin. Uh, I just wanted to, before we go to the onboarding, uh, we'll have a Q&A session uh, at the end. So please feel free to post your questions uh, on the blue jeans screen uh, in a tab. We'll be collecting all of them, and then we will have uh, questions for the speakers uh, towards the end of the session. Um, so next session is about onboarding. Uh, this is a quick uh, walkthrough of how you can uh, 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 you can access the SDK and download the SDK. Uh, so there's a brief process that I just want to walk through quickly. Uh, that to to get the SDK, you need to register on the Tech Lab registration page, which is tools.iabtechlab.com. Uh, then you would create your uh, SDK build, and we'll walk through all of this um, in, in in just a short while. Um, you create your SDK build. Uh, if you need a specific namespace, uh, you can create additional namespaces. Uh, the the idea behind namespaces is to make sure that there is no conflict on the JavaScript if you have multiple as SDK is running in an app uh, with their own own SDK implementations. Uh, so, and that's one of the reasons that we are asking everybody to uh, come to the uh, integrate uh, the the portal that we've created, register there, uh, so that we can maintain unique namespaces uh, for everyone. Uh, and then you can download the SDK. The bill gets generated. You get a notification uh, once your uh, build is uh, generated. Uh, then, of course, is the step of the integration. Uh, you can. Then next step is your internal uh, testing of the integration. Uh, and then you can uh, uh, ask, uh, go to IAB uh, Tech Lab for validation of integration, which is offered through our compliance uh, services. Uh, it's a paid service. It's a voluntary uh, paid service. Uh, what it does is that we make sure we run your integration through all of our test cases to ensure that it's going to work with all the um, uh, measurement providers uh, verification tags. Uh, in addition, uh, if you have um, time, it's 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 a good idea to even um, contact some of the measurement providers and, and test with their actual tags. Uh, and then um, uh, there is the OMSDK JavaScript that will keep uh, that will be updated from time to time uh, as we develop. Um, and uh, so and that process is like we're we're running on a sprint process, so we're releasing every two weeks. So some. Uh, development additions, bug fixes that are happening every two weeks. Uh, we recommend that you um, you get this uh, OMID JavaScript uh, file that at least once a week and more frequently if possible to make sure that you're you have the always have the latest. I'll hand it over to Mayank now uh, for the Tech Lab Tools Portal. Mayank. Hey Shelly, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So um, we have done up a pre-recording session of the uh, of our tools portal. Uh, Shelly, can you play it? Yeah. Thank you. So this is our landing page. You have the so this yeah. is the landing page. You will come across with the login button. And then you can register yourself. Uh, please try to use the company email address uh, because once we get the login info, uh, we verify with the company uh, details. You will come across a dashboard uh, where various other tools, but uh, you will see at the top two, uh, the recordings and the OMSDK. This is once you get into uh, the OMSDK, you will see the namespaces. Uh, you can create their namespace. The namespaces is the default, the company name, uh, plus the uh, every other uh, bill will have a number uh, prefix to it, like one, two, three, and you can build it by iOS or build an Android. The, uh, you can create, you can delete as many as you want. Once the build is successful, or if it's a failure, you will get uh, the email notification to your registered email address. Uh, once the, uh, the build is success, you can go to various tabs, iOS, Android, and you can download the various versions, the latest ones, the documentations uh, as well. The reference apps are coming soon. Uh, in case if you are seeing that, okay, as the build is successful and you are not able to see, please try to use the refresh button. Uh, sometimes there is a delay because uh, the way we use the whole workflow on the continuous build. Uh, there is a perversion upgrade which you will see every two weeks, uh, if not. 
otherwise if it's a major release uh, we will do up a uh, we'll do about public update on that uh, that's pretty much on the tools portal uh, let me know if you have any questions in the q a